What's going on guys? Ducks and some Mario. Hope you guys are having a great day. I just woke up and if you guys can tell, look at the background. Look how beautiful that check and that face black jersey is. What we're going to be doing today is a day in the life of a, a dropped pro player. Basically, it's it's basically the same thing as a day in the life. I just felt like calling it a dropped pro player. But we're going to go downstairs, going to eat some breakfast and get ready to go to the gym. How does this make you feel when I just go like that to you and just put the camera on your face? It's kind of annoying. I'm about to punch you in the face. You yeah. serious? Yeah. Here, take the camera for me. Oh shit. I did that to um my mom this morning. And she's like, ew, dad, get the hell away. She freaked out, dude. <laughs> Dead ass. Like she was freaking out at me. Well, I get that from females because sometimes females are like not camera ready. Yeah. Like, I gotta do my hair. Like, I gotta I, do my makeup. I literally just like walked up to my mom and I put my camera on her and she started freaking out. She was like, what the fuck are you doing? She started screaming. <laughs> I'm not even dude, I literally thought she was gonna kill me. That's how females are, dude. Yeah. You gotta catch them when they're ready. So I'm doing a day in the life today of a drop pro player. Ouch. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, no. I don't really know too much, so I can't really say anything, but just from my point of view, it was kinda kinda sketchy and douchey. From uh from what's his name's point of view. From my point of view? Not you. Why would you be sketchy and douchey from, from their point of view? Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know them, so I can't really say anything, but... I mean, you met Brian before, and I think you met Pat at Yeah, Champs. I thought I thought Brian was a good dude. I don't know. No, Brian, Brian's a good guy. Listen, yesterday when I, I made a video about it, and I talked about getting dropped before the roster lock and everything, I mean, yeah, it, it's stupid that, you know, I got dropped the day of the roster lock for a player that they haven't played with yet, and the, the circumstance is really bad, but... You know, like I was telling you yesterday, I've been on the other side of this before. Like, it is a business. It sucks for me. It really sucks a lot, but it is business at the end of the day, and, and being spiteful isn't going to gain anything from me or anyone else. Like, if I'm going to sit here and I'm going to say, you know, all the worst things I could possibly say about these people, what's it going to get for me as, a, as an individual? Like, where am I going to go? Like, yeah, what is that going to do? I'm still not going to be on the team. I'm still not going to be playing with them, so... It is what it is, you know what I mean? I mean, it sucks, it really, really sucks, but there's nothing you can really do about it. You're totally right. I mean, it's it's so much better to just be a professional about things and just say, you know what, just forget it. All I can do is move forward. But at the same time, I feel like this dude, what's his name, the pimply dude? Aches? Yeah, I feel like all he's done in your life is just fuck you over. Yeah. I feel like every month you just have a new story about he's either fucking you over or just screwing some other dude over. So to me personally, I would just never even bother working with that dude. You live and you learn, man. You live and you learn. But I mean, I'm just saying you you learned like five times. Twice. I, I think uh, I said it was, it was twice. I mean. Yeah, but you witnessed him screw over the other dude on your team. You said the other day, right? I know, yeah. And I didn't even want to drop Steve, to be honest. I didn't want Steve to get replaced. But Steve got on a team, though. Like he's gonna be on the team for um for UMG Cali and that's why if I were you I wouldn't worry because you're definitely gonna be able to be on a team. It just sucks that you couldn't be on that team. Well I think the problem is that all these teams already have their team set. Like London's next week. We're not going to London. Um, I try to get you know FaZe had a spot at London. I tried to, you know, have me and Zuma play with Classic and Nezlo, the two other players are pretty good. And we're trying to go under FaZe, but since FaZe's team didn't go, since one of their players is 15, he's too young, one of them's playing with Optic, they um, gave the spot to somebody else. So we're not going to London, I'm not going to London with proper FaZe. Uh, Cali, there's like one team I could possibly go with, and then X Games, the only way I'd get to X Games is if this FaZe roster just doesn't click anymore and they need to make a change, because I'm the fifth man on the roster. So if they had to make a change, if nothing worked out anymore, then I'd be on that team. But I think the timing of everything is just what, what really hit people hard. And, and I just want to clear something up. I talked to Brian last night, Apathy, and I looked at his last video. He got a lot of a lot of hate that I didn't think he deserved, guys. I felt that Brian, I mean, he could have helped me out a little bit more, but at the end of the day, it is business. I'm not going to try to hold him back. And, and it's not entirely all Brian's fault. It's not all to be put on him. Is that camera really close on my face right I was now? I'm trying to give it to you. Oh, all right. I mean, it's not all Brian's fault, so if you guys could just, like, lay off him a little bit. He's still one of my really good friends. It's just the shitty situation, you know? That, that's all I really got to say about it.
<laughs> Have you ever seen those Snapchat stories where they like take their phone and they're recording for Snapchat and they like bop them on the head? No. You never seen that before? Yes, you just try to Kinda. What's the rundown, Dan? What? I said, what's the rundown? What are we doing now? The rundown? Yeah, give me the breakdown of what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna do a dynamic warm up to get our muscles loose since they're tight from leg day. And then we're gonna attack the treadmill with some intervals. How many intervals are we doing? Enough to party. <laughs> I'll believe that in there. <laughs> I'm probably gonna cut the audio for this. So if you wanna say whatever you wanna say about me, go ahead, Dan. Now's the time. Um, Doug, I really think you're stupid. What else, Dan? Um, you're just really unintelligent. We can uncensor this, no pun intended. Alright, Dan, we'll come back to you. Yeah. The lighting in my room is absolutely insane. I don't know what it is, but I guess since the sun sets like straight in front of my face with these giant windows, you guys couldn't see, there's a sunset over there, and the windows, I don't know, the lighting just reflects on this camera absolutely crazy, but I wanted to show you guys something. This isn't really um, private information. This is actually really public. I just retweeted this on my Twitter account, but I wanna know what you guys think of this. I'm thinking about making a logo. I wanna have like my own branding logo, get my own apparel and all that stuff, and I'm working with FaZe Magic. He's a really talented designer. Check this out, guys. He made like a lion, and I think it's a really, really cool design, and I think it's really sick. And I want to let you guys know that I've been really considering this design as my own logo, and I want you guys to comment down below what you guys think. What's your first impression? And uh, I, I try not to, you know, I, I try not to like influence you guys to like it or dislike it. I want to know what you guys think, your first impression of it. But I will say this. I do think it looks too much like Syndicate's logo. I think Syndicate's logo is really cool, but this looks exactly like it to me. So... I don't know if I want to use that. I want to use something like original and something different. And I told the designer uh, an idea that I had in my mind and he's really talented and I think he's going to come out with something really cool. But your first impression, just tell me what you guys think and put it in the comments down below. All right guys, it's four o'clock in the morning now. I'm a little bit tired. I've gotten like six and a half hours of sleep in the past two days. I really couldn't sleep. Uh, this, this whole situation I've been in has been really stressing me out. But with the support you guys have shown me, and it's a lot, like you guys, really really do support me and it means absolutely everything to me you know it, it really does mean a lot and uh, I'm trying my best to handle this as best as I can I remember after we did win Columbus in the beginning of this game under phase uh, I was on like my ultimate high like things were just going great and somebody told me it's, it's not about how you act when you're doing well it's about how you act when you're not doing well and how you're gonna bounce back from it so uh, I'm very determined to bounce back and I'm very determined to get to where I want to be and uh, you know, I'm just gonna take it day by day. And uh, the last thing I finally wanna say again is that the support you guys show me is unreal and I promise to keep doing the best I can and I promise that I'm gonna get on a good team and win more championships because that's what I'm really good at doing. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, but I will do it. And I just wanna say guys, thank you again for watching this video and all my other videos. I'm gonna go to sleep now. I've had a really long day, really exciting day. Uh, Avengers was really good guys go check it out the first one was better but the second one is obviously worth worth watching so go check that out and if you guys did see it let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the movie so I'm gonna wrap it up on that note this has been a day in the life of a dropped pro player uh, <laughs> that's so corny uh, drop a like on the video thumbs up comment subscribe guys and as always this is your boy Doug Simpson Martin and I'm out peace what's up guys some of you know me I'm Dan I'm sensors buddy and today we're here at the Gamma Lab offices and we're doing something really cool. It's gonna be a G Fuel ad and hopefully I'm gonna be able to get some cool behind the scenes footage. So stay tuned for that. I'm actually about to go into the set right now. I don't think I was supposed to be recording in there, but oh well, I'm gonna show you guys anyway. <laughs> 